you told me you like volley, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the net and hit volleys. So we're gonna work on the volley, and we're gonna first work on the positioning of the net because this is a, a big key. Because one of the things when you come to the net is to to cover it as well as possible to avoid being passed. Okay, and to be always in the best possible position to finish the point. A few things. First of all, the first thing is north south, and the second one is gonna be. Uh, East west or west east. So north south. When you decide to come to the net, it's in general you're inside. I mean, you have to be inside the court. You have a ball that you can attack, and you want to, and then you go straight to the net. Okay. What, the first thing you're going to do after you hit your shot is run as fast as you can. So it's really a sprint on a, a few meters to go as close to the net as you can. Okay. When are you going to stop? Because you're not going to keep running, otherwise you're going to go on the other side. People uh, hit the ball? Yes, exactly. So when your opponent hits the ball, what you do is a split step. You stop and you have your two, you, have, you make a little jump with your two feet on the ground. When they hit the ball, you see where the ball is going. Imagine the ball is coming here. Then what you do is a second sprint. Second. A sprint in the direction of the ball. As fast as you can again. Why as fast as you can? Because the closer you are to the net, the easier is going to be the volley. You know? And most of the balls, they are over the net, and at some point they drop. So if you hit them under the net, it's much more difficult. If it's over the net, you can finish. Okay? So a sprint, huge sprint. Okay? And then you get in touch with the ball. And what, another thing that is, a lot of players don't do well is once you get in touch with the ball, you don't stop. Most of the players, they stop like this. And when you stop the ball... So you have to keep running. With the ball, okay? One or two steps always after your volley. Bam! I'm going to explain the whole thing and we're going to go step by step. The second thing is, for, is where to position yourself. From north to... From east to west. So, first classic mistake. You decide to go to the net. Not you, you don't do this one, huh? but in general, you see that mistake. People play cross. When you play cross and you want to go to the net, all this is open. So, and if you want to cover here, the distance is long. So you won't technically have time to come cover here before the, one, the, the opponent can hit down the line. So you're going to get past. Except if your opponent is here, then you can play there. But if he's around the middle or she is in the, in the middle, you can't do that. So the always best, op, two best options are down the line, because as you see, the distance to cover is shorter, or in the middle, because it's shorter also. But no, not cross. Cross, you have to be here. And distance is too long, okay? This is clear? Okay. So now you play down the line, or cross if the opponent is there. Where do you position yourself? I think you started to answer the question. What? You started to answer the question already. Where do you position yourself? What did you say? Is, you say you follow the ball, you yes. said? Yes, you're right, exactly. So if you play here, you always follow the ball. So remember, you sprint, the opponent hits the ball, you stop, but you stop always following your ball. So you follow your ball. You play here, you run this direction. You, you play here, you run this direction. The idea is where your opponent is, you cover always the down the line. That's why you, you follow the ball. Because this one is the easier one to, for the opponent to, to pass you. So you have to cover this one. So he can't pass you here because you would reach it. And then you always get ready for this one because this is more open. You get ready to cut the trajectory and go there. Is it clear? So I propose you first to, to work on the, on the hit, you hit the ball, run, split step, sprint again, and you hit the volley, okay? You hit, where? Down the line, we said down the line, <laughs> okay? So you hit down the line, bam, you sprint. When I hit the second one, when I, when I do this, you stop. Sorry, you here, you're not literally here, you're here. You stop, and then it can go here or there, and then second, stop, look, and then run, ah, and same, as fast as you can, hit the volley, one step after, okay? What we just explained, okay? The second shot can be forehand or backhand, the first one, it's only forehands for the moment. Très bien, très bien, très bien. Parfait ça, super
Great job. Again. Yeah. Woo! One thing you can improve is your swing because there is a, you, on, on for example, on the one that I gave you that was a bit slow, yeah. you didn't run fast and you tried to accelerate with your hand. So if it's a swing volley, it's fine. But it was not, it was a volley. So if it's a volley, the speed of your ball will come from your legs. If you are super fast here, just a little motion there is enough. You know, you don't need to accelerate here. You have to accelerate there, okay? If I'm very fast, my ball will be fast. This one was not because I, I feed myself, but if the ball, the ball comes to you, then you're gonna have speed, okay? So speed is here. Here, very short. Okay. But that was good, huh? And now I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna start to give you also backhands, backhand volleys, I mean. So I move back, position yourself. You play down the line, so follow the ball, but don't be totally on the left. Ready? That's great. And continue to run after, okay? One or two steps after, very good. Yeah. Again. Okay, stop. That's very good. We're gonna just do something that you are not used to doing, which is continuing the, after you hit the, the ball. So I'm just gonna feed you a volley. What I ask you to do is split step, two steps, volley, and then up, one or two steps after. Ready? Top, run. run. Yes, very good. When I sit, when I sit up, you run forward in that direction. Ready? Top. Yes. Very good. You don't need to make that much a big motion. Just do this. As you run fast, it's good. It's good. Top. Very good. Again. Top. Super. That's exactly it. Top. Parfait ça. Top. Ça c'est top. D'ailleurs j'ai dit top. Top. Bravo. Super. Top. One or two steps after. Top. Voilà. Ça, c'est super. Encore. Perfect. Super. One or two steps after. Yes. So we do exactly the same as what we did before. Keep in mind to do the two steps after your volley. Excellent. Bravo. Super, bravo. And encore. Again. Yeah. No, you stopped. Again. That was good, that was very good. Again. Yeah. Yes, that's a great volley, bravo. It was very difficult and you did great. C'est ça, c'est ça, c'est ça, c'est ça, it's okay. <laughs> That's it. Good. As you do much more effort on the legs, which is great, you have to do more or less with the, the arm because you do a very big swing. You just need to do this. It's enough. You see how fast it, how far it goes? This. Stop. Okay. Come here. We'll do it slowly without the ball. Show me the, your backhand volley. Yeah. So here, just open here, so you cut the ball. Check. Check. It's enough. And fast with your legs. You want to do some? Yeah. Go. Go. Yes, that was good. Again. Yes. Again. Yeah. Okay. And you do backhand volley. Ready? Super. Bravo. Getting there. Excellent. That's a super volley. Again. Yeah. So, just uh, to summarize what we just did, one very important thing in, in, in the volley is, and that's a, again a common mistake, a lot of players do big movement with the arm and not effort with the legs. And that should be exactly the opposite. The most important thing at the net is what you do with your legs. So, as I said, low, extremely fast, wow, <laughs> jumping, running to the ball, and very, very short here. 
And you see, it's enough. You see how fast your volley goes? Because when you use your legs, imagine, it's like, imagine two cars, full power, bumping into each, into each other. So that's one thing. The thing is, there is one car that is a bit, loud, a bit heavier than the other car that is super light. So imagine you, full speed, hitting a ball that comes full speed to you. And plus you do this, it's gonna go everywhere. So that's why here it's minimalist. Tack, 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 tack. But here has to be perfect. Uh, let's go. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna hit some volleys. What we just spoke about. So a very basic and short, not even swing, but drive with the hand. And so fast on legs. So we st but we start already from here. I'm gonna feed you, you just run to the ball. Bam! The two steps after, and then you come back. Okay, I give you time huh, to come back, don't worry. Very good, again. Sorry. Bien. Again, do it again. No, 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 no. no. You see, you do, look, you do this. Just do that, come here. Just the volley, ready? Front volley, very short. Yes, perfect. Very good, that's it. That's what, that was great. Do it again. Yes, perfect, again. Great. No, you did big again. Short. Ah, sorry. Passing shot, again, ready? <laughs> no, too big. Go. Yes, perfect. You. Yes, great, do it again. No, too big, you know it. <laughs> that's good, again. Do it again. Okay, again. Yes, you. Again, that was good. Ready? Again, I do it again. Yes, that was great. Super short. Excellent. Yeah, it's in. Good job. It was good. It was good. But you stopped. Continue after. Yes. Very good. Again. That's great. That's great. Again. Bravo. Yes. No, it's, it's fine. Listen, that was good. It's just, you know why it's here in the net? It's just the orientation. Here it's in the net. Here it's at the top of the net. Here it's over the net. Exactly. Play here. Okay. Perfect. Good job. Incline. Yeah. Ah, incline. <laughs> Ready? That's great. You did a great job, both of you. Huh? Super good. Nice. Super good. Super good. Wow. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video and want more tennis tips, first, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then follow me on Instagram at Patrick Muratoglu. See you very soon on a tennis court.